name's Steve Jones, skipper of trawler for Sanford Limited. First started fishing around about 89. Worked on all various vessels, from long lining to trawling. I've been invited over here to take a look at the black petrel colony. I see seabirds all the time, but got no understanding of where they go, what they do. I thought it'd be an opportunity to see what they're all about. <laughs> We're here in May, so the chicks are about to fledge and leave their burrows. So we're here putting a band on each surviving chick and then watching them take off. Way up there and just that way. Okay, so you've got to climb right in there. You've got to climb right in. <laughs> and you can take this torch if you want. Is someone going to put a rope on my legs? Right up the end to the left. To the left? Uphill. Oh, he's feisty. He was backing away. He must have known I was going for his head because he made it hard to get. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I pulled this bird out and yeah, it's sort of quite magical what happens. Wow! <laughs> he backed himself right up in the corner and turned his head around so I couldn't get a hold of his head. <laughs> Go on. Cool. <laughs> the parents seem to come back you know, two to three weeks after they've given them their last feed, just to check Checks that they're gone or not. Okay. Because we have on occasion found a parent in there and the chick's gone, so they must have just come back to have a quick check. But generally, yeah, they do this abandonment thing and harden up, get out yeah, to see, yeah, you can yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and then the chicks go. realise, oh shit, yeah. I'm not getting fed, I better go and find how to get food. And then yeah. they fledge. Ah, there he is. Down. This is what yeah. we call a launch rock. And it's amazing to watch because they sort of wrap their wings and then using their feet and bills climb up. Yeah. When you stand up on that rock it's an amazing view and there's claw marks along this rock that have been made by these birds and I'd say it must be centuries of these birds climbing to jump off this rock. Sanford's role in all of this, we're signatory to the Black Petrel Working Group and was signed off on a pledge in 2014 along with other fishers, government organisations, um, non-government groups um, to be looking after the petrels. So we understand the risk to them and we want to do our bit to ensure that they thrive and survive in this environment. <laughs> it's been a great experience, a privilege, yeah, I guess it touches you a little bit. It gives you another perspective, you know, we go fishing, we work, to make a living, to feed ourselves and our families, and we see them as seabirds. Hey, yeah. Hello. We are aware of the birds there, and we've got mitigation on the boats that does work. Going forward, you know, maybe we can learn more. <laughs> <laughs>